welcome to your own dear friends uh, today we move on to the next complex uh, cobalt with uh, six fluoride means hexafluoride cobaltate three ion complex so now try there this e complex the hybridization geometry and magnetic property na kaliyono by using dbt dear friends and already we know in the last video the similar to the question number 26 and a question explain the hybridization geometry magnetic property of the complex it is a hexa fluoride cobaltate three ion by using the dbt yes uh, dear friends uh, first we start with uh, a similar concept is a uh, cobalt is the f6 this is your total complex yes the fluoride is a negative charge of minus 6 obviously cobalt is plus 3 oxidation state name of this complex hexafluoride cobaltate hexa fluoride cobaltate 3 ion now when i read it so similarly first to nomenclature number one and then yes you have to mention a corresponding central metal is a cobalt your ligand He is a fluoride. Or if you know, there are two types of ligands: halogen atoms and the weak field ligand. Yes, this is your weak field ligand. Halogen atoms, weak field, your fluoride is comes under weak field ligand. Yes, let us begin, friends. Atomic number of cobalt. As you have to count: scandium, titanium, vanadium, chromium, manganese, iron. This is a cobalt. Cobalt is twenty-seven. Atomic number twenty-seven. Based on this, argon three D and four S. Yes, eighteen, twenty, and twenty-seven. Yes, this is your splitting of electrons. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yes, two electrons in S one. The cobalt oxidation state is comes under plus three. Now. argon 3d and 4s remove of three electrons s is zero the d is goes to 6 now 1 2 3 4 5 6 there is no electrons in s one it means difference you keep yourself yes here fluoride is a weak field ligand and due to weak field ligand they cannot they cannot force paired up they cannot force to paired up electrons against to bonds Yes, or do you know in uh, your uh, valence bond theory, fluoride is a weak field again. It cannot force to pair up the electron against the bond. So the electron retain same after complexation also. Yes, this is your fluoride. Is a cobalt which is available in three D. Is totally and uh, this is a four S. And if you want the four, four. yes, one, two, three, four, five, this is six. There is no chance to pair. Now, the very important six fluoride ions or fluoride ligands. Yes, better word. Yes, fluoride ligands donate six. pairs of electrons to the central metal to formation of a complex this is called complexation friends after donation of six pair of electrons from the fluoride the complex will take place d orbital there is no chance In application of electron in d orbital, d vacancy, 
and the electrons which start of a point for d yes six p yes this is a first pair of electron second pair third pair fourth pair fifth pair and this is what six pair of electron which related by the six fluoride ligands this undergoes hybridization just keep in your mind one s orbital and 3p orbital and 2d orbitals now it becomes yes p3 d2 hybridization what about hybridization is p3 d2 yes now it comes directly to the result friends yes the hybridization is yes p3 d2 geometry octahedral geometry is octahedral very important magnetic property yes keep yourself the very important magnetic property after complexation if there is an unpaired electron if there is an unpaired electron the molecule is a r complex is a r magnetic dear friends which involving four unpaired electron so we call it is an para magnetic complex yes now we got the three answer hybridization is p3d2 geometry is octahedral magnetic property is para magnetic if you want to know the structure or geometry of this complex this is a central metal is a cobalt Yes, dear friend, which is surrounded by six F fluoride ions. These are the fluorides. Yes, this is a simple geometry, which is available. Is it? Well, okay. This is much is enough for the exam part of your view for three months. I repeat once again. Explain hybridization, geometry, magnetic property of the complex. Hexafluoridocobaltate, 3 ion. Why it is a Ate? Because it is an anionic complex. Central metal is cobalt. Ligand is a fluoride. I think all of you know in the last video, the halogens are weak field ligand. They cannot force to paired electron in a central metal or d orbital against the Hohn's rule. Very simple atomic number. Its corresponding electronic configuration. Oxidation state of cobalt is plus three. The loss of three electron they becomes three d six and four is zero. Okay. Yes, here in another case we can fluoride. Fluoride is a weak field. They cannot force a pair of a d orbital. They retain same after complexation also. But six fluoride they can donate six pair of electrons to the central metal. In the complexation three d retains same because of the weak field. The application of electron four s four p four d in the donated ligands. Now the hybridization takes place one s three p l two d s p three d two hybridization. This is your hybridization according to the complexation or geometry. S p three d two is becomes to octahedral due to unpaired electron the molecule or complex is a paramagnetic. Keep yourself magnetic property of this complex is paramagnetic. This is the geometry. As this much is enough for three marks question in. Your annual examination. Dear friends, keep practicing. Already in the last class, we know the another complex of cobalt it is a diamagnetic. Now it is an paramagnetic. There are two cobalt complexes that go over, and then in the next video, we move on to the remaining two nickel complexes. Thank you.